not my man. You're not my man. This is what, You're a look, genius. This feels good. This will be easy. Everybody could jump in on it. So it's not like most people you see who never use live, they jump on live and for like 20 minutes, they're literally staring at their phone going, <laughs> yo, yo, you know, reading fucking comments like, yo, this is my favorite. Bro. Oh, it's so awkward. <laughs> yo, honestly, these lives have been giving me life though. Tory Lanes, that little white kid, little AGZ, and fucking um, Lil Boosie have been making my life. Their their lives are absolutely fantastic. Ooh, 15 minutes away, but yeah, they've been fucking me up. Um, hold on, let me go turn my light on outside just real quick. <laughs> <coughs> Frank's like, let's go. Uh, I'm good, man. I'm just like searching through my phone and shit. I saw you messing with your light a minute ago and it made me laugh because Yeah. I couldn't for, figure it out. When you were holding it under your I'm face, outside. just for a That's second, you look like the, the white kid from uh I, American Horror Story. <laughs> <laughs> do it again, do it again. Show tell me oh, how wrong. Oh shit, yeah, tell he does. <laughs> he does. What's his name? Like Evan Peterson or some shit? I don't know. Evan Peters. A bunch of grow a bunch of all the goth bitches get wet for him. Love him. It's facts. Oh he's married. God. Oh my god, I love school shooter oh, no, him from the first dating. season, and then they cry when school shootings happen, like posing. He's bagging Halsey. What? Is he? Nice. Yeah. Uh huh. Nice. nice. Good for him. Good for him for real. Halsey, Halsey. Oh, Halsey. oh. By the way, one of these reviews, I'm gonna have to argue with Frank. Yeah, same. Oh, we're so getting we after know. Frank today. Oh, I wonder if it's the same one. We're getting after Frank today, <laughs> but um. I got to figure out where we started. What is this? Episode uh, 93, maybe? So really 200? Yo, facts. Yeah. We're out here in these streets. Um, okay, I think this episode is where Episode 91, right? Or no, 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 90- no. This is 93, I think. Ah, whatever. Who fucking cares? This is an episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is an episode, and we got... <laughs> The uh, the this is the regular trio. People should be used to this by now. By people, I mean WLP. We appreciate you, sir. <laughs> <All> right, <laughs> Our biggest fan. <laughs> but uh, huh? <laughs> Our illustrious viewer. <laughs> yeah, yo, facts. The He's only committed. one. He's committed. But um, so we started off this week with a weird project that I fucking hated. Was Ty Fontaine's Virtual World EP. Trash. This project was fucking garbage. I threw a throwback joke in the beginning of there for people who've ever played Jumping Flash for the PlayStation 1. It's a game about a colorful toy bunny rabbit just jumping around a land of colorful things. So you can get the idea of what this project sounded like to me. <laughs> High pitch noises, bullshit sounds, all that fucking bullshit. I fucking hated it, bro. Yeah, you hit it on the producer note. plugs, at least four in every single song. Yo, buy your beats. <laughs> <laughs> buy your beats. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's when you put out the shit too quick. Like, you didn't, like, pay for your lease. And you're just like, yo, it's got to come out, bro. But um, <laughs> this project is garbage. It's new age stuff, high-pitched singing, all that singing rap shit that I hate. All the beats are, like, kids' toys. <laughs> it's, it's it's rough, oh, bro. It's so this, rough. This album sounds like all my toys that my dad murdered the voice boxes in. <laughs> <laughs> yo, fact. Yeah, it's 100% fact. I was like, this shit is trash. And it's, like, got the cool... The new generation really is ruining everything that we liked. If you see cool yeah. album art now, it's not a good project. Yeah, yeah it's not going to be good. Right. Or if you see a project with like a picture of them as kids on the album cover, it's not going to be good. And back in the day, you that used to mean it was good. You know what? You know what I think this is. I think this is the same problem that we have with art, like actual art, like paintings and stuff. Yeah. The the, the point where like talent means nothing if you're abstract enough. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Like I threw yeah. my shit on the wall. I call it. I watched. Cool. I watched a TikTok, <laughs> uh, and you know me. I'm obsessed with TikTok. For everybody that knows, I watched a TikTok, and this dude, and I didn't know if it was real, because it looked pretty convincing. But he was like, "Yo, I saw people were paying like this much on like eBay or something for these kind of paintings." And he was like, "So watch this." So he did a bootlegged version of these things, and he's like, "All right, I'm gonna put it up on this website for 220 bucks, and let's see where it goes." And it turned out to be like almost two stacks by the end of the video by the end of the video and i was like this is bullshit and he just bullshitted it and i was i was like pissed i was like this is crazy if he art. if he just made 2000 off of like art yeah art bro the last time i <coughs> excuse me i got cancer the last... <laughs> Sorry. last time i went to any kind of like art installation or something bro i just was like yeah, saying it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just not the same anymore, bro. It's, it's just, just like this, same on. shit. Yeah. Not the same. 
I want to see it, like I want to see some dark shit. I, all that mashed colors. No, if there's a titty in there, maybe. But other than nah. that, you know, <laughs> I'm not here for it. Yeah, this is art is meaningless now. Very much art. So. Art is dead, guys. Because because people because because people ruined it. The the, yep. the fans oh. ruined it. Bo Burnham called it art is dead. Yeah, facts. Bo oh, Burnham, <laughs> lunatic. <laughs> So, I haven't um, seen him in forever. I haven't dude, seen him in nothing. <laughs> it's because he doesn't perform anymore. He produces now. Yeah. Oh, bro. He had a good run. He had a good run. Yeah, he, he, really won't ever do, he won't ever do stage act again. Yeah, I know. It I was know. a good run. Because he fucking almost died from anxiety, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think he yeah, said bro. about that in his yeah. last special. Yeah, he's like, this shit almost killed me, for real. <laughs> Love that. That's, that's when you know it's art. When you almost die. Yeah. <laughs> Here That's why that. it was so good. Fact. Anyways, less less about both or more about hip hop. <laughs> yes, sir. So the next project was um, "Who the Fuck Is Melvoni?" by Melvoni. I wasn't here for this. I was like, it started it started all right, and then it got real went shitty. downhill quick. So, yeah, like yeah. real quick. It, it it started like it was gonna have a concept, and then it did not. Yep. Like, he just went straight to new age. New age. I, yep. I fucked you, bitch, blicky, 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 all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, the first yeah. track wasn't like that, though. The first track was him talking about his life. I was like, okay. The one this. good song he had. Exactly. Yeah. And it was called New York, less. too. I had hopes. I was like, yeah, New York, what up? You know, getting all tough about it. And then the rest, I was like, this isn't New York. What is this? Uh, oh, it's deflated. Yeah, just it's, uh, rough. Weird. And he had one of those, like, woke rapper covers, too, so it threw me off a little bit. Usually that's, like, the woke rapper cover. It's like, And you can't trust the covers anymore, Yeah, bro. like the fisheye lens type view of, like, your kicks and your full body. So I was like, uh, you know. But then it's we not. had, um, so after that, we posted a little more of our, um, that was a little more of uh, our stuff from Paul Goon. You know, shout out to Paul Goon. We had our that little interview with him. It was a good time. So this was the, the ending of the promotion of his stuff. So... Next project was um, Red Paint Reverend by Shooter Gang Coney. One, I was like, this name, I don't know if I'm going to like it, but it's also kind of hard. I <laughs> like this project. I fucked with this. Yeah. It was all over you the know, place. It was kind of nice, though. When it was bro, nice, that, it was kind of nice. Yeah, that second track, though, didn't deserve a wave, bro. My man was out here rapping. Yo, like, my man Lil Bean, man. He's- Nah, oh, my man was out here rapping like Blueface, bro. He literally <laughs> was doing that. I'm going to talk real loud and then pause. And then talk like around some more. I, you know what? Like, you know what I'm saying? The songs that like got away with certain things for me, it was I just like what he was talking about. You know what it was too? I kind of got lost in it because when I saw this, I, I um usually when I'm like gonna post shit or when I'm looking them up, and then I see they have a blue check, I'm like, how do they have a blue check? You know what I'm saying? Like you want to know, like, oh, how are they known? And then I saw a post about him, and he was like in jail like forever, <laughs> and he's like 19 or something like that, and I was like, what? <laughs> so it made every word hit kind of a little more for me. I'm like, hey, he's got to be about it if he was locked up forever. And he still- sounds dusty as fuck. Dude. Yo, yo, that Mozzie track, man. Fuck, yeah. that song had me hyped. I was like, yeah, but I like it, man. He he had bars, like he had aggressive bars. It was super yeah, aggressive he was out here, but it wasn't like you know. I don't know. Man. I think I half think of the I'm, a, I'm not as sold as you are. Ha- I, they, hey, I got a six point five. Half of it was really dope, and then there was some stuff that were like new age garbage that I wasn't here for. But the songs that were dope, I thought were really dope. You know, he, he was out here. He was out here. He was spitting. The most of the features were okay. They not a, not a lot of them did their thing. <laughs> My man. Yeah, yeah. He had a little touch of storytelling here and there. Too. He had some stuff that I was that I liked. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my man like? needs to invest in some lighting. <laughs> I'm outside. It got I'm dark outside outside. real quick for him too. It wasn't. <laughs> I'm underneath the fucking oh, porch. Shit. You can tell your god. We can tell your god to pay the light bill, bro. <laughs> for real. <laughs> we could see you, but um, yeah, this project was dope. He had some stuff. It was very aggressive. It was very like hood oriented. He had some lines that were like, all right, you know. It wasn't like bullshit cookie cutter lines for the most part. Sometimes it was like, oh, he kind of might have been through something because he said some shit that was like very unique. But it wasn't it wasn't bad. It's not a great listen, but it's a good time if you want some ignorance. Half of it. Yeah, it's straight. Yeah, half of it. So um, the next project was Industry Games by Chica by Drake K doing this thingy thing, giving people them high ratings. I don't know about a nine, but she was out here. She was snapping. I wasn't mad at it. He immediately got at like other rappers. Got at Lizzo. <laughs> I was like, what is that about, man? What did Lizzo do for you? Do to you, bro? Like where you I just don't even know if I would say her and Lizzo even have the same sound. No, not at all. Not at all. 
Nope. But, um, oh, I know. Because they're fat Man, black girls. Yeah, because they look alike. <laughs> Bro, you ain't right for that. Come on now. <laughs> Drake can look like Lizzo. <laughs> Facts. He's a hundred percent that bitch. But um, <laughs> but yeah, the... <laughs> yeah facts. I'm a hundred percent walrus. <laughs> facts. Oh, but um, shit. this project was nice. Uh, she could rap. She can She's fucking rap. Yeah, she was snapping. I was here. I was here for it. Um, the beats were cool too. It was a nice. It was a nice listen. I didn't hate it at all. I actually enjoyed this. I didn't. I, it would have been all, like damn near all waves for me. Kind of deal, you know. I, yeah, yeah, it was like fire. a seven to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. a solid seven. Not a nine. Not a yeah. nine. Come on. He could have strong armed me into maybe an eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, maybe, I, I would have gave him that a nine. Come on, bro. Yeah, but I, I'm not mad at it. This is solid. If you're looking for some dope female rap that's not about pussies and shit like that, go for it. <laughs> go for it. Then we had um, we dropped a hold on. Then we dropped a dope interview with. Mike Titan on Instagram, that dude spits. Oh man, that was a good time. That was a very good time. This dude is woke as shit, and I know. Hold on, what the fuck is this sound? So say, is that you or me? That's I don't know if it's me or you. Let me see testing. I don't know. Oh, it's gone now. So it's probably me. But um, I know he was pissed off when Bernie dropped out because that shit happened a few days after. Oh, man. <laughs> I know he was tight. But uh, dude, he's nice. His album is dope. We did it. We reviewed it. The lyricist manifesto. We got a dope interview out of him. He talked hip hop. He talked politics. He talked a lot of grown man shit with us, and we fucked with it. But he's dope as fuck. Listen to him. He rap it. He rap rap raps. Yeah, I'm upset. I missed that one. It was a good one, bro. Yeah, it was a good time. He was chilling in his car. He was just chilling. Yeah, I thought he was gonna take us for an adventure like Taco did. Yo, facts. So. The next project we did, I, it's been in my rotation, was Trendsetter by Vanderslice. We Bye, seize bro. you. Consistency. We seize you. From top to bottom. <laughs> Front to back. And I was like, yes. This and he has one of the wild. most entertaining Instagrams ever. Oh, His yeah. Facebook's pretty good, too. <laughs> His Facebook is wild, too. But um, every feature, everything on, everything on here was nice. <laughs> I was into it. I was very here for it. That's why I like people who produce who just do do multiple things you know what i'm saying because they they get a sound and you and you know it's theirs yep and you know this is this was the goal you know it wasn't something that they had to string together with what they had no this was the goal but i fucked with this i kind of feel like on second like like on on a further listening the the song the ty ferris track probably would have got like a fire truck out of me yeah that track was cold (laughs) that track was cold You know yeah. what? If I had to, you know, and that's I just keep it a buck. If I had to say I had one problem with this project, it's too short. <laughs> Facts. Agreed. 100%. I think it, it was, was too short. short. Only 10 minutes. Give me, I I give me three was... more tracks. Three Bro, yeah, more. Fa- ex- ex- yo, exactly. Three My more. sentiment. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Things. Just squeeze them in between, you know, the, the right yeah. after six, three more tracks, then you get the outro. I'm here for it. But, uh, yeah, but this is this is hip hop. This is aggressive. This is a good time. The features all did their thing. Ty Ferris snapped. He I lost was, his damn mind. Angry light skins. Always. Also a very entertaining Facebook. Also, yeah. <laughs> very entertaining. A lunatic. Yeah. <laughs> High key of a lunatic. So I'm not <laughs> mad at that at all. But uh, yeah, definitely a fucking good time. So that project, definitely in my rotation for sure. So after that, um, let me see what else. Oh, so this next one was um, Fresh Air by UFO Fev and Static Select. Yo, I got a question about this one, bro, before we get into it. (laughs) Why is the guy, is this this just some guy named Jose Santiago? Yeah, I guess. I don't know if he's an artist, but that's that's just the name. You know how many guys are named Jose Santiago? (laughs) That's your artist name? I love it. (laughs) Love it. Love it. <laughs> it's like, yo, let me think. Generic Spanish name. Hmm. <laughs> Dude. It's like it's like John Sanders for white people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, John Smith. Yeah. Right. Dude, wild. Steve. Wild. I was like, yeah, like, I was just, when you type it out too, it's funny. You're like, oh, okay. I know, I was just looking name. at it. I was listening to it. And then I was just looking at the track list and I'm like, Jose, I know Jose Santiago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know a couple of Jose Santiago. You know I'm saying, like, what? Yeah. A wild shit but this um they this project let's every it's gonna happen again because i know i got another one dropping for next week static selector come on bro every time 
killing it. Well, can Every we put? Time. Where do we put his name? I nobody ever talks about him. Really. No you know one. And he's never let any like. I, I don't care how if the person could be whack, it's gonna be nice. The project's <laughs> gonna be nice. You can still be sitting there like, dude. I like was like trying so hard not to just big up static for this project because fev did his thing the features all did their thing but static come on you keep ca- he's consistently carrying projects he's with probably, nice artists i was gonna say he's probably really careful about who he picks too truth very probably. true uh, hold on hello oh uh we're gonna take a food break yeah you guys can keep you guys to hold it down talk a little bit i'll be right back did you listen to this yeah i listened to all of them but just once these uh these couple in the middle of the week, I don't remember too well. The static selector joint. I, every time I, remember I, that one. I look at it though, and I feel like I start to listen to it. I'm like, I don't even really need to listen to this. I listen to it anyways, but I'm like, I, I already know. you know it's going to be nice. Yeah, I like, already know. This is already a seven or an eight. There's no questions. It's also because one of the ones we're about to talk about is the one I've been listening to all week. Uh, Theophilus. Oh, no, that's coming up in a couple. Yeah, I've been listening to that one nonstop. You like, uh, uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves, but we'll talk about it again when Johnny gets back. But I'm into like that. This? I'm into that jazzy sound and stuff. That's my. It's all right. Thing. Like I was driving around when I was listening to it, so it was all right. But like, I don't. I can't see myself like I gotta go do something. I'm gonna put that on to listen to it. I'm just, I, I just like it. That only you track has been. Like every day for me. I feel there. like I feel like John is gonna fuck with that too though. Didn't he do the review for it? Yeah, he put a wave on that one. But I yeah, thought so of course you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> See I don't It just know. it reminds me of like those old school reggae bands, a couple of it. And then he raps in a couple other areas. It's just, I don't know. I just thought it was a really good mix up. Do you like ska? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. A lot. I think I that... that. See, I only like a little bit. I grew up on like Sublime and all the bands like them. So I pretty much only like Sublime. That's it. Oh, see, I like them all. Slightly. You stupid. like Badfish? Yeah. Well, well, they're just a cover band. They don't really. Yeah, do I know, but. But like what? Rome, what? the Dirty Heads, all of them. When there's like Revolution, fucking. Yeah. Nah. See, I, maybe yes. I'm. I'm not the. I'm not the. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not the right flavor of white. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. not. And Pepper was always a good one to me. Who? You don't like Pepper? You know what Pepper is? Oh, you should look them up. Yeah, man, this fucking crazy Uber Eats driver is lost as fuck. They always get lost around me, man. If you leave the two white dudes alone, it turns into a ska conversation. I was just... <laughs> what, you guys saw what, what happened? So if you leave the two white boys alone, it turns into a ska rock conversation. Nice. Woo! Nice. Every time you can keep that, Johnny. You don't have to cut that. <laughs> That's perfect. That's fine, man. I wasn't gonna do it anyways. I I don't be editing yeah. that deep, man. I'd be like, fuck it, man. I'm just gonna let it live its life. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <laughs> but um, I don't remember what no we was up there. to. Oh, we was up to that UFO fab. Y'all talk on it. Yeah. We talked about it a little bit. Yeah, it has some gas on there. I think uh, terminology <laughs> fucking snap. Ito's nice. Haley Supreme's been s- slowly sneaking up my list for just adding Sazon to songs. Yeah, and fucking I- um. I was gonna say I was just saying that it's getting to the point where whenever I come across a static selector, I don't I'm like I don't even really need to listen to this. Dude, the one I the one I'm dropping for next week is fire too. It's static selector and terminology. And I feel like they've dropped it in a week because it's about like the fucking pandemic and other shit and it's 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 insane. A lot of people are doing that and it's starting to get old to me. I don't know if it's yeah. like, they did it know, first. They put it out first. <laughs> Have we had any confirmed COVID vo- lines yet? No, not that I know not that I've spotted yet. Once they start coming in, we need to like aggregate, like like aggregate them into a list and then just post a list <laughs> and just make like a fucking collage. Yeah, <laughs> just like like random like yeah. quotes. <laughs> oh yeah, a million percent. Make <laughs> <laughs> it into a t-shirt print and sell it. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> so um, the next project was uh, "In My Blood" by Be More Kev. So this was one of those ones I found in like the iTunes iTunes newest list type thing. Um, it's forgettable. It's forgettable. Yeah, it's very forgettable. Sense that I listened to it once and hardly remember it. Yeah, exactly. I, I remember vibing to like I think it was the second track. Yeah, I remember sure. like it was one of those ones where I was like, I don't hate this, but I'm never gonna listen to this again. <laughs> yeah, yeah you it was. Yeah, like, uh, this is something that like if a kid, like a 19 year old, told me they liked it, I wouldn't be. I'd be like, all right, okay. 
And they, oh, there goes Johnny again. We lost Johnny. Oh, we'll, we'll just start talking about Sky again. My there favorite Slime song is uh, 1984 or, uh, or Smoke Two Joints. That's a classic. Yeah, that, that's everybody's that's favorite, probably. I well, like yeah. some of the old shit, like from 40 yeah. Ounce of Freedom. <laughs> yes, All right, anyways, sir. back to hip hop. Uh, <laughs> Are you guys still talking about it? <laughs> Sublime. Nice. <laughs> No, it's a bit. Yo, he used to Every rap. Time he that guy. If you listen to their old stuff, he would rap on his shit. Yeah, that's he, the, he would do full songs in Spanish. That's basically what reggae is, too, in a little. It's just like, you know. What are you talking about, Scott? His it's whole sound was a risk, honestly, if you think about yeah, it. Sublime was different. Yeah. Sublime was the shit, but people, the only, white people ruined it. <laughs> That's the only ska band I like is, is Sublime. I don't there's like any of those. Oh, man, I, I like a lot I can of send them. you some good ska, like shit like that. Probably. Yeah, listen, there's some good stuff. I, I we, we could get to that. <laughs> I can romp with that. But anyways, this be more Kev shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, funny. It's uh, it was a, it's solid. It wasn't nothing crazy, nothing like rememberable, but it was smooth. Like I feel like this dude could put out good music if he really, really like zoned in on it. This is just like, hey, I know how to make music. This gonna... was rapping around. It's like he's somebody's famous kid. Yeah, he could be. I don't know much about him. He did message us like, "Hey, where'd you find this?" I'm finna go I'm mm. finna look at his Instagram. It's <laughs> funny looking dude. He is a funny looking dude. Foldable. I saw him on his fucking foldable. Yo, you know who he kind of looks like? Who? He looks like off-brand Jaden Smith. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like oh, he looks like he comes from like oh, no, from like you Vine royalty. That? You guys remember that dude that would always show at Odd Future but would never rap? That dude named Taco. Taco, yeah, he yeah, looks yeah, like Taco, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he looks just like him. <laughs> Foldable. <laughs> Foldable. A hundred pounds. Your background <laughs> Wild. So there goes. get him out of here. So the next project, it's blurry, but we still see it. So the next project. Favorite of the week. <laughs> this is this is Frank's project. It was uh, Baby by Theophilus this- London. They we got ahead of you. Fuck. This is what we were actually talking about, and then we started talking about Scott. <laughs> nice. God. Yeah, this project was cool. It had moments that I didn't like, though. There was a lot of things that I didn't like. I wasn't here I for most know. of it. <laughs> I like a lot of the, like, the, you know, I like the fucking, there's a lot of, like, cultural stuff and all that stuff, but I feel like sometimes he would have too much of an effect on or, you know, it would just get a little too weird because I like the cultural shit. I like, you know, I grew up to a lot of different types of music and stuff like that. But it was a leap of faith for sure. But I feel like most of the most of it worked. It's good driving music. Yeah. yeah. And it's stuff like you feel like you can let kids listen to if they you know if they're not yeah. really trying to digest. Yeah, it's not it paying too. attention. Yeah, but uh it wasn't bad. It has some weird some weird features. So you got Tame and Paula and you got Ray Kwan. Weird stuff. The Tame and Paula track was dope. Yeah, that track was, was fire. Little that little Yachty track, I was like, I don't hate this. But, <laughs> but um the yeah, title I track I was a little upset with. I didn't like the title track, and that sucks because like you're supposed to like those. Uh, the Raekwon track was gas. Raekwon's the he's Raekwon. You know, he, he's the chef. He's the chef. He does whatever the fuck he wants. But it's cool. It's very different. If you're looking for something very, very, very outside of the norm, outside of the box. If you're a fan of like shit like Jadena, Who's Fire, and shit like that, this is definitely something to definitely dive into. It's a good time. It's a good blend of new age cultural stuff and its own type of music all in one. Right. But super, super, super solid. I wasn't mad at it at all. <laughs> then we had a. Uh, and this is the project where I'm coming. See, we're all going in line. This is why I'm, I'm, I'm coming for you, you Frank. Are we, are we on the same page? Coming dog? for you, Frank. This project was gas, bro. You were out this you was were smoking the, the many faced many goddess. She's got like two per song. Chill, dude. This is the many faced oh, goddess by the homegirl. It was a snooze fest to me. Crazy, Merce the big body bends. She I was quit. snapping, bro. <laughs> she was snapping, she, dude. She sounds like female Jada Kiss to me, and I know she's that's got... secondhand smoke. But she, that's Yo. what she sounds like to me. Yo, she, she, she's she. This girl radiates top energy, bro. Yo, <laughs> facts, bro. Sam. That's what so, it is. Frank can't handle a big girl that's can't, in charge. Can't handle it. Can't handle it. He's she scared. would tear sure. him apart. Sure. Bro. I didn't even know she was a big girl. Oh, my goodness. So, Mer- yeah, she's but Mer- girl. See, this is, there's a difference. She there's helped. big girls. There's big girls. And then there's ones that will she eat helped. you alliv Merck yeah. has got, if you meet her in person, she got this vibe where I don't give a fuck if you want those dudes, ah, I'll mess with big girls. She would make you love her. She's got this crazy energy. She said some shit on here. It was 
uh, dude, she punches one. She's got oh, lines. Oh yeah, oh, it's a little blurry. Yeah. I, I yeah. know what she looks like. She's I got one. She's got lines. People. She's got punch lines. She has some real storytelling. Yo, she had. She was so I, I plotted the storytelling. I said that was what I liked the most about the project. <laughs> that so. that first song that you gave an okay to she was crazy. She was swinging. What did she say? She I, was like. Bro, oh, I was like, niggas see me as a monster, but kind of sexy too. Like she's talking real. She was oh, snapping, bro. Frank, she got man. a check. She got a check. <laughs> nah, man, saying. you disrespected, bro. You disrespected That's fine. the fuck out of this girl. I, I, this to me was she a minimum is, seven point five. Yo, I, I, I would go as far as I would. I would have gave this an eight. Yeah. Oh yeah. She, she, she. I would go as far as to say that she is now in my personal running for like top tier female spitters. Yes, thank this, you. She is. Thank you. She is. Bro. She is one of the few on females some, at, on some cold yeah. ass beats too. Cold. She's. Woo. I am. I'm a fan of all rap, but I don't reach out to too many people for features. I've reached out to her multiple times. She's been on my one of my mixtapes because I've I'm just a fan before. of how she I've raps. Never she was on me in WLPs. She's the one that cooked me in oh, WLP on egg rolls. Oh, I, I, I remember that. Yeah. She's I nice, bro. This dude. Nice. We need to, to y'all people who listen to this, talk to Frank, man. It's the many faced goddess by Mert or Merce, she calls it because her name's Mercedes, the big body Benz. She's nice. These are good pussy I'll raps because the they were punchlines. Like I, t- I played this for my wife and she was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yo, she <laughs> sounds like, like yeah. a female Jada Kiss. She got the yeah. raspy voice at all, bro. I, she, I told her, I told my wife, I was like, she, this, this is the type of woman that smacked the dog shit at you and you thank her for it. Yeah, facts. <laughs> facts. Spit on your face and you're like, I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm grateful. That's <laughs> right, Mert. We got your back. <laughs> Don't hate the page. We got hey, your I'm, back. I'm a fan. <laughs> facts. I've been, it's been a while since this has happened to me. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute. Drake can't get all the heat, man. <laughs> but uh, so this Frank next project, Frank sleeping. He ain't been in the hot seat. Yo, fact. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the next project was like a bit a painful. This hurt me to do. Bro, oh my god, bro. this is twenty twenty Pyrex Vision by Jeezy. Oh, it bro. felt dated. You it did. Are, I'm from the I'm from the south. I love cocaine raps. I'm a huge G. I love. I love, dude. Jeezy's last project, the one that had like J Cole and shit. I was like, yes, this feels this like not, the it, laziest. This feels like throwaways from like a decade plus bro, ago. This shit right. booty. I was not having it, and I, it hurt yeah. me to write this review. <laughs> hurt me. What too. was it? Billions. He just said the same line over and over. Oh again. my yeah, god! I hated that song. Oh I wanted to god. argue with you for this so bad, but I you know what? Not, not. I didn't. I gave Billions a thumbs up because of. Even though he did say it a thousand times, I was kind of cracking up at like what he was talking about. He was talking about like Oprah and all of them and shit like that. So I was like, eh. but yeah, this this project is not it, man, at all. And it's for something that was thrown together after he allegedly retired. <sighs> you left on a good yeah, note. you left it's on a good a note. Cash grab, cash grab, probably. Oh my god, painful, painful, painful shit. But terrible, um, terrible. That was the last. That was the last project of the week that we did. There was some good stuff that happened this week for you hip hop fans. We had RZA versus DJ Premier do a live battle, and it was a good time. All the people that slept on RZA probably feel stupid now. Everyone that is obsessed with DJ Primo, you were right to be like that. I think Primo won personally, but I, I think RZA did way better than I thought he would. I think I saw a lot of people. I didn't listen, but I saw a lot of people making posts about how they thought RZA was going to lose and shit. Yeah, like they were like, "Oh, it's gonna be no contest." Yeah, Primo's people were like washed. disrespecting, and I get it. I, I, cause I get it. Like RZA's, if you look at their catalogs seen... on a hip hop level, it is like Primo's always just been hip hop, and his catalog is widespread. And you know when yeah. it's a Primo beat, no matter who's on it. And I get that. That longevity is uh, is unmatched. He's on my Mount Rushmore. RZA just took different routes. RZA's also a legend, and I, I'm not gonna disrespect him and say he needed Wu Tang. Because he's nice. That's what I, I was finna say. I think yeah. I saw our man's Vanderslice say something like yeah, that. Yeah, but it's like he didn't. Like he's nice. He kind of gave them the the you know the bed to fucking you know eat the plate to eat off of. But he also yeah, just took a weirdo route. Yeah, dude. He took like a weirdo route. Like you know he did movie scores, which is where money's at. Like I get it. He did movies. He did like Kill Bill. And, you you know, gotta follow the cash, right? Yeah. I was kind of like worried though because the last thing that RZA put out was like a spoken word confidence builder album. 
Yeah. And I was like, oh, man, I don't know where he's at. And he's he's very much as weird that's as you guys probably, think he is. That's probably top ten on my list of things I'll never check out. Oh, I checked. I love it. Yeah, you you want to get motivated? Fucking... You want to get you know motivated? What? That's, That's it. one thing me and me and Frank were also talking about while you were gone. You guys are fucking weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 1,000%. How am I in the normal world? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm gone. Fuck? I've Where been gone. I've never denied it. I know I'm fucking uh, weird. But that racist shit is wild. It's a wild list. Honestly, it's, it's hysterical. I like, when I first came out, I listened to it driving to work, and I was like, this is it. This is for me. You would. <laughs> you like, I'm gonna go start six more businesses. It's like, oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <It's>, he, <laughs> you're talking about all this shit you're gonna do. Oh, with he, it never he had me hype, but um, yeah, he was a little weird during the whole fucking thing. I'm glad it went three hours, which is great. Even though the beginning was him getting his microphone ready and Primo just old manning him. But um, the one thing that had me dying, Riz is so awkward and stiff, and he just kept saying, "Yeah, once my wife says it, it's over." And then at the end, he's like, all right, my wife said dinner's ready. Like, <laughs> it's a wrap. And I loved That's it. So you know, priorities. But um, that was good. But I think this whole thing is good for the culture. Like, the Scott Storch versus um, Baby from, uh, you know, the Hot Boys fire. Fucking Lil John versus fucking T-Pain was fire. And I feel like they could do more. I am going to put this out there. I think comedians need to start getting in on this. I, either they have roast-offs or do stand-up on live. Bro. That'd be amazing. Imagine the, Kevin Hart you versus Cat Williams having a roast off like you know rounds. What the problem Man, Kevin Hart would smoke him now. Kevin Williams don't got it. I don't think. Him. I don't think. You know Kevin what the Hart problem is Williams. with doing material. Cat Williams don't got though, it. Uh, is if you're doing it on if you're do, if like if they're doing set material online, they burn that material and now they can't perform it on stage. Oh yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's why so, I would say I would rather them do like a roast this, off. This type of shit's supposed yeah. to come off the top for professionals. You know what I mean? They just yeah. do. This yeah, shit but not right. when they when they write jokes and shit. They have like this written material. It's yeah. got beats. It's got. Yeah, it's yeah. just like writing a song, kind of. But the difference yeah. with comedy versus music is music. People want to listen to it a bunch of times. Yeah. There's diminishing returns with jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like if funny. they do like roast off, where they have like almost like battle that's, rap. If they do like battle rap, like where they have like one round and it's like Kevin Hart round one, you know, and that they have roast offs, that, that would be shit. phenomenal. I, imagine you get Michael Blackson in there versus some of the top tier he's been going at. Jamie Foxx is a oh, killer. Come on, if you if you pull, I was gonna say if you pull so everybody from like the roast family with like uh, what's Yo. his name, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, like I'm talking about like the Kill Tony people like that. Tony Hinchcliffe would cook Michael Blackson. Are you oh kidding me? God. It'd be, but it would be hysterical. <laughs> oh, it would be hysterical. It would be, be hysterical, be bro. Ass. Michael Blackson would be making fun of his voice and shit. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Michael Blackson would just be cursing him out. I, I feel like that is something the culture needs. Like we've had the artists doing their live performances. I feel like comedians need to get in on this. And they will if it goes on longer. Yeah, I feel like you know we got to do something. We got to be creative with it because I like, think the internet industry is gonna if if the grid doesn't go down. The internet industry is going to see a boom. Yeah. Oh, no doubt. Dude, the strippers oh, no. on the strippers getting getting wild on Tory Lanez is live. They they got a boom going. They're getting paid. And fucking my man Boosie, put your pussy lips on live. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Best shit mm -hmm. ever. That was ever. The best Boosie impersonation I've ever. <laughs> Dude, he he kills me, bro. He was doing one, and this girl started pouring milk on her ass, and for like three minutes, he was going, does the body good? For like three minutes, and I was in tears. I was like, I could watch this all day. <laughs> but lives have been wild. But um, other than that, man, that's that's all I got, man. That's all I got for this week. And um, yeah, man, people hit us up. We're going to start getting getting more active because, yeah, we're, see we're fucking home. Yeah, you're going to see us more. <laughs> nice, see y'all. All right, y'all. This is...